We got our hands in a newly announced Rokinen 35mm f1.4 AF for Sony E-mount and we're going to compare it to the hugely popular Sigma 35mm f1.4 art lens for the Sony E-mount. Both are third party lenses which makes them cheaper alternatives for your mirrorless camera. In fact, my first impression was that these lenses could be related. They both feature an aluminum alloy housing with roughly the same dimensions, though the Sigma lens is a bit slimmer than a Rokinen. However, the Sigma is 20 grams heavier due to its 13 elements in 11 groups versus the Rokinen's 11 elements in 9 groups. Meanwhile, both lenses feature the 67mm filter thread and 9 rounded diaphragm blades. The Rokinen has a much larger and smoother focusing ring, which makes it better for videographers and manual shooters. The Sigma features a built-in distance scale for some reason and an AF manual focus switch, which the Rokinen excludes for quicker manual override. As you can see, these lenses are physically nearly identical, but how will they compare performance-wise? It's pretty good. You see, move close in. Let's bokeh it up. Some bokeh in there. Nice. Not bad. Pretty fast. Receptive. Let's see. Wow. Noticing this is a lot faster focusing than the Sigma was. That's right there. I'm gonna move back. How about that lock on? That's incredible. So one of the first tests we ran was testing the light drop off of both the Sigma and the Rokinen lens. And as you see as we stop down more and more as we get closer down to about f2.8, as you can see there's considerable light drop off in the corner of both images, but the Rokinen one was a lot worse. Comparing the bokeh to the two lenses, as you can see the Sigma lens had a lot creamier bokeh, which is probably why it's an art lens, but in overall the Rokinen had a lot smoother and more circular bokeh. When it came to AF performance during video, it seemed that the Sigma lens had a hard time with keeping up with focusing quickly compared to the Rokinen. The Rokinen lens was snappy and quick to snap right into focus, whereas the Sigma one seemed to kind of just float into focus just like it's stuttering. So my first overall impression with the Sigma and the Rokinen 35mm f1.4 lenses is that optically they're very similar. One thing I did prefer with the Rokinen lens was that the, the bokeh was a lot rounder when it came to that. And also that when it came to autofocusing in video, the Sigma lens seemed to struggle to keep up a lot. Um, the Rokinen one was snappy intuitive and at a $200 less price difference. I think, it, I, think I would go with the Rokinen. It's one, thing, it's one thing that matters the most about these two lenses that I feel Sigma does win at is the case. This is a, a beautiful case for the Sigma lens, whereas the Rokinen lens comes with this little pouch. I mean, I don't know anyone who brings a, a pouch with them to photo shoots when they're out and about, but I guess both has its advantage. So, just leave it there. You guys decide, Sigma or the Rokinen. <laughs>